My name is Chris Gores from Explosive Performance. We're here at the Training Center in Ashburn, Virginia in the Brambleton Town Center. Uh, today we're going to be working with Ryan Kerrigan, doing some core stuff, helping him, helping him get ready for training camp. I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm you know, running now and, and now it's just about building the strength. I mean, my leg feels good. It, I'm, I'm really glad I had the surgery because it really has helped me, made me not just my football life, but just everyday life feel better. So I'm glad I got it done and I'm just, you know, now it's just about getting stronger and getting in shape. Good. Get long, keep tension. Good. So when we talk about core strength for athletes and for performance, it's not what you see in magazines where you see six pack abs and all this ripped stuff and all those crunches and everything. For us, core is, is your pillar from your tailbone to the top of your head. Everything that's not an arm, everything that's not a leg, that is defined as your core for us. Good work, relax. Yeah, core is a big thing for me as a pass rusher. You want to be able to move functionally, but also be stable, especially when you're a pat, when you're rushing the passer and you're you're low. You're trying to bend around the corner. You got to be you got to have good core strength so you don't get washed by the the quarterback. And a lot of the stuff that I've done with Chris, not only today and in the past, but has really uh, really benefited me in that regard because he knows a lot of drills that don't just build muscle, but also you know builds functional muscle, and that's that's key in, in pass rushing. So these are our reaction lights, right? So I'm just gonna have him hold his push-up position, and then from there, whichever light comes on, you're just gonna touch that light. So a lot of our core exercises are gonna be for anti-flexion, anti-rotation, anti-extension, so that you can keep that core nice and still. If this was a pillar, I can apply a lot of force right here because it's straight. As soon as this starts to bend, that force becomes potentially dangerous. Again, if we can keep everything still and start working on things like anti-flexion, anti-rotation, anti-extension, and, and keeping that pillar for movement, then that's what can set us up for, for performance in the future and then help reduce the risk of injury. Hold your feet, okay? We'll go for about 30 seconds. I'll watch the clock over there. But every once in a while, I'm gonna let go of one. Don't let it drop to the floor. There it is, nice. Yeah! We got it, we got it. Come on, 10 seconds. This is the type of stuff that makes Ryan special. Something that was extremely difficult for him with the first set, he got it by the middle of the second set. For somebody that is maybe not as special as him, it would take us a month to figure out how to do that drill. The ability to maintain this pillar, right? So now I'm really challenging that pillar. Challenging the balance, the strength, a little bit of rotation, you know? But we don't want to see it fold. That's the great thing about Chris. He's real modern in his, and real advanced in his, in his uh, knowledge of all exercises, really. And you know, you, you look at you know how a lot of us were brought up and with with workouts, and you know, is this you know how much can you lift, and you know how many times can you lift it. Whereas you know nowadays it's more about you know moving it, moving functionally, and and being strong in a functional way. And I think that's one of the things that Chris has has down pat is that he knows how to knows how to get you to do moves, movements functionally is, I mean, you're still building a lot of strength, but you're moving it better and you're moving it safer. Good work, relax. Ryan is one of the most talented guys that I, I, I know as far as being strong, being fast, being super athletic, um, but his mindset doesn't match that. You know, Ryan comes to, to work as if he's a guy that has to earn it every single day. And I love that about him, he comes in and uh, he, he is extremely diligent about everything that he eats, everything that he does before the workout to get ready, everything that he does after the workout to recover. So, you know, you, you combine that elite talent with an elite mindset and, and you have a world-class athlete like Ryan. 